great walks track, 54 kilometres. Uh, if you look it up on the Queensland government website, it says that you should allow three days to walk this track. Uh, you're supposed to hike it and camp either way, but uh, I thought it'd be a great challenge to be able to try and run it in one day. Just push the limits a little bit. And it's definitely much different from a road race or a road track, sorry. It's up and down, there's natural things blocking your way, slippery creeks to cross, rough ground that's too, uh, too hard to run on, the downhills are smacking out of your knees. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely different to running on road and it's definitely a serious challenge. So I think it's a great one to start off with. Number one, Earth Strider, 54 kilometers of running. Let's go. So the trail starts uh, at O'Reilly's and heads through to Binnaburra. Uh, this is about 21.5 kilometers or so, this first section of the track. And we arrived up there about 7.30. All right, we made it to the top of O'Reilly's. Um, Tracks over in this direction, about to get started. The time is currently, check your phone. 7.18. 7.18 in the morning. The temperature is currently three degrees and it's flipping freezing. And I started, started my run, 7.28 is the exact time. Washed off my shoes on the little uh, cleaning station there and then we started the run. <laughs> it was freaking three degrees when we were just getting there, so it's absolutely freezing cold and I'm carrying, it's, little gear as possible so I had no room in my backpack for uh, um, a jumper couldn't take that off later down the track so just absolutely freezing when I first started but started and that's about a five kilometer ascent up to the top of the range oh yeah not bad at all Mount warning over there I can't remember what this one is in the middle, but then you can see here now, the sun's probably in the way of it, this range that we're going to uh, run across the top of. So we'll be going all the way across the top, around across, and then down. Whew. Better keep the pace on then. Yeah, so you run along the top of this, the rim of this old volcano, and that's really cool. There's lookouts uh, the whole way along, and um, just massive drop offs uh, either side. So. Yeah, it's really good. And you run across the top of there and then you finally get to uh, make your way through to, to Binabar from there. Following the path down. Okay, where did it go? Looks like maybe a little bit of track around this way. That's a, a full blockage, that one. So stuff like this that slows you down on these tracks. Unlike if you're running on flat ground or a road course. That's the track <laughs> through there. Well, it should be anyway. We got around. A creek crossing. So be careful you don't get your shoes too wet here, otherwise you'll be slipping and sliding when you get back onto the rocks. Here it is, we reached Binderborough. So that's uh, just over 21 k's complete and about 33 to go. <laughs> so we started off the map down here, run the yellow and red line all the way around the top of the ridge, all the way up, and now we're up here. And now we have to do this little circuit around here and off the top of the map towards uh, Springbrook. The devastating part is that we have to travel this 12 and a half kilometer track 
to travel about what we could do in one kilometre by car. <laughs> Dope. So now the time is currently 22 past and I've been here for about five minutes. So there's a little under uh, two hours, about an hour 50 to do that. Uh, 21 k's, the next section is 23 kilometers and then the last section is 9 kilometers but a big steep climb towards the end so um, the thing we do have coming up in this section is the big steep descent uh, which I'm going to use the hiking poles for because otherwise my knees are going to be wrecked my knees aren't in pain yet, they're in discomfort but not pain so hopefully we can uh, stop them from getting much worse but eating a little bit now, having some water little bit of a break and then we're back onto the tracks. Alrighty, first section is the lower bellbird circuit, 12 kilometers out of the uh, 23 for this section. Alright, let's do it. Lower bellbird circuit now. We've got to go back down that way. I don't exactly know where the track goes, somewhere around here. And then down this hill, past that, that's Egg Rock, where we film those sketch house videos. If you haven't seen those, go and watch those. And then down around the other side of this Turtle Rock here. And then through the Numbar Valley, which you can't see behind Turtle Rock there. And then up the other side of that range. So. Um, yeah, this is definitely the most beautiful section of the track. There's some really, really pretty areas um, and just big uh, water flows running down. and but it does make for a bit of tricky running because there's lots of up and down. Run! Run! <laughs> Why did you just turn off the track? Go, 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 shoot, shoot. It took him long enough to figure out what he needed to do was turn off the track. Certainly lots of uh, big ups and downs in this section of the track. I'll slow you down a fair bit. Whee! But, uh, beautiful, stunning scenery. did that in quite a, a good time it felt like a lot faster than, than what it actually was it took about two hours to do but i came out and you see in the video i look at my phone and i go oh yeah it's 11 or 11 something which was two hours and i just thought i'd done it that quick i was like yeah i think that's about an hour all righty we're emerging out of the lower bellbird uh circuit that's 12 kilometers it's 11 38 so it took us uh, I think roughly an hour or so to do that uh, 12 kilometers, which is pretty damn good. Awesome scenery in that. But um, yeah, now that's back up to Binnaburra. As you can see, our 12 kilometer track took us all of 1.2 kilometers. <laughs> but um, and now the Great Walk tracks continues this way towards the Numbar Valley, Egg Rock, and eventually Springbrook. But, uh, so yeah, I was underestimated my time a little bit. The next section is Egg Rock, um, it's the descent into Egg Rock. Yeah, that descent, last time I was a bit gung-ho, I was just running down the hill and about halfway down my knees were just absolutely shot and I couldn't, I had to keep stopping and just taking a break and then going again, taking it. 
And this time I said, no, nah, stuff, I'm going to be a lot more sensible in that section. So I busted out these uh, hiking poles just for that section and I uh, used those to go down. So you know, I, was, I was slower walking, but I think on average I would have been faster through that section. I came out the bottom and I was still feeling great. So uh, that was a big, big bonus. Alright, found the road. That concludes the descent into the Numanbar Valley. Now we have the trek through the bottom of it. And then uh, finally, we make the final, the third and final section, the Springbrook section. So, so currently free from major blistering. A few spots around the place. A couple of toes that have good ones on them. Oh, that one just squirted me. Lovely. about 10 k's I think on the road and um, yeah in the hot sun on tarmac if your knees are shot it's just really hard to run that and I couldn't even run that last time but this time I ran the whole thing in one go and found it uh, pretty good I was, I was feeling good still by the end of that so and it was good just to smash that out nice and quick because I don't, don't enjoy the road run it's just nowhere near as fun as running through nature finally leaving the road That's definitely the most suckish tank k's running on the tarmac with all the cars. There's hardly any paths around the corners, so you gotta like run on the road around the corners. But oh well, we did it and ran the whole thing, so I think we made up a good time. And this is where we made it to last time, but the track was closed. This time, even if the track's closed, we're still gonna give it a shot. Yeah, and then we start the Springbrook section. So the Springbrook section is the section I didn't get to do before, so I had actually no idea of what I was expecting uh, in this section, but I knew it was nine kilometers and that it did start to uh, ascend again as you head out of the Numbabar Valley back up to Springbrook. Um, so I knew it was probably gonna be a reasonably steep climb, but didn't know quite how steep it was gonna be. How many green ferns there are? Just ferns galore. Again, this freaking last uphill. It's hard yakka, I tell you. Just doesn't stop. It just seems to be getting steeper and steeper. At least there's no stairs. So it's nine kilometers and I did about the first seven kilometers <laughs> and I was feeling quite good but I was going man I haven't uh, I haven't gone up very high here so I hope I hope we start going up soon because I feel like I'm going to smack with something awful here and lo and behold I, I found a set of stairs and then the stairs just didn't stop and <laughs> we just I just climbed stairs for ages and by the end of it I'd started off so powerfully up the stairs and I was going yeah I'm making good time here and I was just one step just dragging my body up one step at a time Started here, I've climbed up to here using stairs that are used just 80 stories, 322 meters, 900 stairs. And it's higher than the Q1, but I'm near the top. Oh, thank goodness. We cannot come soon enough. These stairs are seriously taking it out of me. Yeah, 900 steps descending like 400 meters or something like that. So that was good fun to be smack with right at the end, but it's a really, really good feeling when you make it to the top of those steps and you emerge out and you, you know you finished the task. Freaking made it, people. Oh, thank the Lord. We made it to the top of Springbrook. Oh, golly, golly, gosh. Oh, holy crap, that last freaking set of steps was a killer. That was insane. It's not where you want to be smacked with if you've just done like 52 k's of walking. But that's what we got, so... Oh well, we're here now. It's an achievement. And then, uh, 
saw the purple machine rock up and pick me up. And then she was, uh, it was really good now and I finished and Britt was there to help and she took me home and yeah, and I started the recovery phase, but it was really good to, to complete it. So that's trial, trial number one of eight. So I think we've got the ball rolling now. Uh, we've got a snow trip coming up in three weeks and one of my uh, trials is in that. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna start smack them out. I've been testing a couple of skateboard locations and um, yeah, we'll start working our way through the trial of eight. So stay tuned because uh, big things in the pipeline.